asking me, and then I'll have, like, sometimes if I'm lucky, it's just my eye, and then, like, my eye will feel, after the headache is gone, my eye will feel blown out for days. Like, it'll feel like, it'll feel like it just, like, poof. Like, my people will feel blown out for days wherever I had the migraine, and then, like, my head will just be, like, daisy, and then it's just, like, it's just, like, I don't know, just, like, pounding, and then sometimes, like, it's just coming up all over, and then sometimes I have to make myself puke, and that'll help. Sometimes it makes it worse. Sometimes I'll just, like, try to sleep in the shower with, like, the head, water coming down. Sometimes that makes it worse. Um, and then some days I'm, like, it's, like, you know, okay pain. And then sometimes it's, like, okay, you've done enough days of okay pain. And then it's just, like, yeah, no, I can't come hang out. I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to sit down. I have not been rock climbing regularly since then. I have not been. Uh, I can't bike for long distances. I used to do 100-something miles a week, and I and I started joining groups, and they were all doing, like, 100 miles a day for on a weekend, and I wanted to work up towards that, but I haven't been able to push myself past, like, 9, 12 miles. Um, I, I've been... Um, yeah, I have not been able to do yoga. Before the accident, I could lay on my knees and put my head backwards and touch my toes. I cannot even bend over frontwards like that now. Um, I don't know. I'm just not the same person. So how often do you get migraines? Once every other week. Once every three weeks. And if it's not every other week, then it will be like once every three weeks. And then it will be like for like three to five days. And then, like, sometimes you think you did, you lost it, and then, like, it'll be something random. Like, it's like guessing it. It's like, do you need sugar? Do you need um, the latest position? Do you need, like, wasabi? Do you need, like, it's like guessing. I feel like I'm playing with, like, a monster sometimes. Like, what do you need? Um, but I get them all the time. I get them, like, 15, 20 times a year. Maybe more. 20, I'd say 20 times a year. Um, how many days? I would say about 50, 60 day, days a year. 60, 60 days. 50, so 50 to 60 days a year. Have you received any medical treatment in relation to your mind? I have a prescription for it that I take with the Excedrin just to be safe because if I'm ever thinking about taking that medication, I'm just like, look, well, you might as well take it the Excedrin just in case. Who did you treat with for your migraines? I actually got that from a neurologist um, the other day when I went for the, because of COVID, uh, most new doctors are not taking patients. So when I tried to set up to have a doctor and stuff like that, I originally had to get the Adderall from a, um, um, I had to do a waiting list and I ended up getting the Adderall from a neurologist, and I was just explaining my migraines and stuff, and he was like, the City MD, like, they'll just give you, like, a one-off thing, but, like, they're not giving you an adult prescription. They're not giving you, like, whatever prescription. So I, um, um, that's when I was, like, he gave me the, um, the migraine meds. What's the name of that neurologist? Five, four, three, two, five, four, three. Two. Far Farkash. Arthur Farkash. Can you spell that? F is in Frank. R is in Randy. A is in Apple. N is in Nancy. Wait, what? No, sorry. F is in Frank. A is in Apple. R is in Randy. K as in... King, U as in us, S as in Sam, H as in happy. And where does Arthur Prakash practice? Wicked Far, Long Island. Do you know the name of his practice? NYU Lingo. Who's related to NYU Lingo? And why you what? Lango. Yeah. 
And how many times did you treat with Dr. Barkash? I've only seen him once. I just call in for the prescription. Like I said, it's wicked far. School started. Like I've I've only been on, on like one date, like the whole semester. So other than you mentioned the neck pain, issues with sleeping, migraine, are there any other things that are currently bothering you? Um, I said it, just like, you know, the bowel movements and just all the aforementioned issues, like my arm goes numb, everything, like, I don't know. Are there anything, is there anything that you believe is healed since the accident, something that you're no longer treating for? I wouldn't say heal, this is just like you pretty much accept it as a part of life. Like my back isn't constantly in pain. It'll get in pain from doing stuff, but it's not constantly in pain. You mentioned that the the, um, the ear issues popped up when you were on vacation. When did you go on vacation? Um, December 2020. So September or December? December was the first time I went on vacation since the accident. Where did you go? Kenya. You flew there? I did. How long were you in Kenya? A month. What did you do in Kenya? Nothing. Just travel? Yeah. You went swimming? I tried to go swimming one day as a pool, and I um I couldn't do it. Any other trips between the day of the accident and today? None where I went on a pool. None where like any activity or anything happened. I literally even, just lied. Even a trip where nothing happened. Have you gone anywhere? Um, yeah. Where did you go? Mexico, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. Where did you go to Mexico? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo? Mm-hmm. Is that yes? Yes. What year? 2021. When did you go to the Dominican Republic? March 4th. What year? 2022. What about Jamaica? January 14th, 2013th. What year? 2022. How long were you in Mexico? Ten days. I was at my parents' house. Um, my girlfriend, I cooked for her. She wants to start a restaurant, and so I was helping her with some recipes and um, cooking techniques. Where in Mexico? Playa del Carmen. Need swimming or diving? Nope. Can't go. How long were you at the BR? Three days. What did you do when you were there? I just went to dinner. It was a resort. My first time at a resort. Never been to a resort. Where in the Dominican Republic were you? Punta Cana. Punta Cana? Mm-hmm. Yes. What about Jamaica? How long were you there? Five days. What did you do there? Um, I just wanted to relax. Uh, there was a there was like an abandoned beach by my Airbnb. 
I was like out in the middle of nowhere.